Hello ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to Real Talk with MMJ. Our guest for tonight is someone who has been making rounds in different types of circuit and events in Sydney. She is a well-known uh, pageant queen, a mother, a rap model, and a print ad model. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce Joanna Guna. Hey! Hi. All right, well, for our audience sake, uh, Joanna, can you uh, tell us a little bit blurb about who you are and what you've been doing as of late? So, yes, my name is Joanna Guna. I'm a 35-year-old mother. Um, I am also work as an oral health therapist um, and enjoy modeling, um, do pageantry as well. Yeah, beautiful. Um, Thank you for being here with us uh, today. Yeah. And so, with that aspect, Joanna, what made you join pageantry? Um, I think I joined pageantry. My first pageant I joined was back in 2012, so yeah. more than 10 years ago. And I think when I joined, it was just to try something to get myself out of um, your out comfort, comfort zone, zone yeah. and just to try something different to um, build my confidence. And so I decided to try that first pageant back then. Beautiful. Uh, yes, and to be honest, my God, how do you cope up with the latest styles, the trends, and you know the lifestyle that you have? Um, yeah, definitely as a mother and trying to sort of do this modeling at the same time is can be very challenging. So it's always hard to find that balance between you know um, being a mother, doing my full time job, as well as you know all the activities that I'm participating in. But you know because I enjoy it, it's all worth it. You know, it's, yeah, just find that balance. I think this is. Do you remember a time, Joanna, when it just became so hectic? I'm like, how am I gonna do this? Mm -hmm. Trying to juggle photo shoots or whatnot or an event. Do you remember a time in your life when you said, man, this is just way too much for me? Mm -hmm. Do you remember a time like that or? Uh, not, I think what just gets me through is that I just enjoy it. Yeah. You know, no matter right. what, it's, yes, it's crazy, it's hectic, but because I love it, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I keep going. I think, I think yeah. it, it, it falls back to where in, you know, once you're doing work that you're passionate about, it, it's not yes, work. That's right. And so you enjoy that each moment. Yes, that is true. It's just that's like true. today that you wait for how many hours, right? Oh, yeah. This is definitely a passion. <laughs> <laughs> how do you usually prepare for a runway show or an event? Like, is, is there like a two hour, three hour preparation? Oh, runways can take a whole day of preparation. Right. Yeah, a lot of, um, there's rehearsals, then you have to do like briefing, then, um, Fitting, styling, styling, hair, makeup, and waiting time too. Yeah, I, I think that's time. the misconception that it's modeling cool. is just walking on the ramp. They don't know the so back work that yes. gets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there is a lot of work, yeah. And, and, and so, you know, I, I know that we've been, you know, I've known you for quite some time now and I know how busy you got. And so, I know you're a mother as well of two beautiful children. How do you juggle that, that work we're in? You're modeling, yet you need to attend to, of course, first and foremost, your mom. Yeah, to be honest, it is hard. Um, like even today, sometimes there's days my kids will like cry, no. oh. you know, and it's just, it's heartbreaking, but at the same time, they know, and I know I want them to understand that I'm doing this for them as well. Yeah. You know, to lead by example. Yeah. You know, one day maybe they don't understand now mm -hmm. yes. because, you know, they just miss me, they want me there, but yeah. hopefully, it, yeah, it, it, it shows that I'm doing this for them or just to lead like, like I said, like example that don't ever, ever stop dreaming, you know, or just be relentless with your dream. I, I think trying, for know? me, my mom was like that to mm. me. And so I emulated that, yes, that, yeah, uh, that characteristic them. and situation as well. We're in, you know, you don't stop improving yourself. And that's how my mom that's was. Right. And that's a good uh, yes. way of yeah. being a role model for your children. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And how about the husband? Does, does he support you all the way? I'm or? so blessed. I was going to say, Another reason, obviously, why I can do what I'm doing is because I have the most supportive family. Yeah. You know, he's taking care of the kids when I'm out. Yeah. Um, no complaints, just support. He watches the shows sometimes when he can, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. My parents, my brother, they're all yeah. Yeah, support. I know I met your parents. They're very lovely. And I met yeah. your husband. You have a very blessed oh, family. You, you are blessed to have them and they have are blessed to have you. Thank you. Has he ever thought of joining himself, like in modeling or... I think he's been asked and he's just like, no, that's your thing. <laughs> I'm not doing like so, no, I don't no, think No, but just tapping on his question, do you find it better that you have different, two different yeah. uh, 
careers. Because sometimes people find, oh, we're both in this industry and we're fine. And how do you find that? Yeah, definitely. So he has his passions, I have mine. Yeah. So it's, you know, he does his thing and then he, and I support that and he, same thing with me. So yeah, we're not, you have, you know, we just have our space for ourselves as well, which is important, I think. Yeah. yeah. Right, so, right. Right. And how do you feel about, you know, how, like how far do you want to take this modeling or, or do you want to go into acting as well? Or do you want to just stick to modeling and maybe do some pageants? How far do you want to go with this? Modeling is definitely my, um, my passion yeah. and pageantry too. I, I still want to explore a bit more of the pageantry world, but um, I, to be honest, I'm just enjoying the ride. Like, yeah. I feel like there's not a, like a destination. I'm just enjoying the journey, yeah. wherever it takes me. I'm just um, grateful for the experiences and just going with it, yeah. How different is it now? Because I know I met you a long time ago. Yeah, I started more than 10 years ago with you, Mike. Yeah. How wow. different is it back then to now? But is there a major difference or not too much? Oh, definitely with, um, well, my personal life, the mother, being a mother definitely impacts because right. there's more things, yeah, more responsibility, more things to balance. But with regards to the modeling world, world as well, definitely, you know, there's a lot, um, social media wasn't that's as true. back then. Yeah, so that's another thing, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing. So how do you find, um, how do you find it, uh, well, sorry, uh, what, what then have you learned with the difference of back then and now, uh, what uh, what qualities you should have as a model? I think now that I'm older as well, you just I've just learned to, um, you know, be just be resilient. You know, mm. if there's mm. negativity around you, you just yeah. do your thing. You just breathe. You just yeah. move on. Um, you can't help um, other people's other opinion. people's opinions. Of you. you just have to. Yeah, your pressure. Yeah, you yeah. have to just um, value yourself and. You know, whatever it can't please everybody. Yeah. You know, yeah. like your own opinion matters a lot. And remember, yeah. as as they always say, make your own path and let your path dictate where what yeah. what what way you're you're going. Yeah. 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 And and so I believe what you mentioned is that you go there, you do your best, you work, yeah. you show up, yes. and that's the most important thing. And mm. you go home with your family. And you be proud of yourself. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. When you show up, that's the confidence that's there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know what, uh, uh, Joanna has been, like I mentioned, uh, circling the circuit. She's been in a lot of prints, uh, magazines as of late. I've seen it. She has been all over the world, to be honest with you. Okay, and as promised, we will be doing a lightning round where questions will be given to Joanna by our co-host, Mike Ilagan. And she would have to answer it in a quick-witted way. Mike, take it away. So 15 questions. It's it starts off easy and it gets a bit harder towards the end, but just answer whatever's on top of your head really mm -hmm. quick. All right, ready? All right, first question, sunny day or rainy day? Sunny. How often do you change your towel? Uh, once a week. <laughs> if you were a flower, what would you be? A rose. The last person you called? My kids, my, my husband. What is your greatest fear? Oh, I think regret. Who do you miss the most? At the moment, my kids and my family. <laughs> I've seen them all day. <laughs> what dream or dreams have you given up on? I'd like to say none because that's what I'm doing now, is living my dream. So, and I'm not going to give up. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What worries you the most about your future? Uh, my, I think just not being able to provide the life I'd like for my family. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What causes you stress in your life? Stress. I think a messy house. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one thing that drives you crazy about other people? I think being dishonest. Mm. What do you want to be remembered for when you die? I think I just like to be remembered for being like a good person. You know, yeah. someone that did their best in this world and hopefully made an impact on someone's life. Yeah. What is your biggest regret in life? Oh, I, don't, I honestly don't think I have one. No, I don't. That's her fear. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. Yeah. How do you define success? To me, that's actually a good question because I've had that asked so many times. But to me, success is happiness. Mm. Yeah. yeah, to be happy. Yeah. If you had three wishes, what would you wish for and why? Three wishes. Three wishes. Um. 
yeah, just to have a happy family to um this is such a hard question. <laughs> oh my god, three wishes. <laughs> Uh, you see, you money, money, and more wishes. Yeah, I was going to say the hundred million would have been good. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, so, you, happiness for your family? Yeah. Um, financially stable. Yes, financially yeah. stable is such something. Yeah. As I'm getting older, something I'm really Finan appreciate. Yeah, actually. financial stability. Yeah. And then the last one would be more wishes. More wishes, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Mine would be money, money, and more wishes. Yeah, that's it. And it's if I have more one. money, yeah, exactly. We're gonna go for a bloody <laughs> And last one is complete the sentence. If I had no fee, I. If I had no fear, I. I'd. If I had no fear. You'll we'll be unstoppable, yes, like what you are right now. Yes. yes. There you go. I like that question, <laughs> Mary Rose. If you are to, uh, if you, if you are have no fear, what would you do? Oh my God, I just don't know what to do. I'll be somewhere out there. I think I will be a prime minister. Right. Yeah, because yeah. I, I don't have. Yeah. yeah. But right. that's not a fear, because I know you can do it. You're confident <laughs> enough to do it. I'm fearing what people think about me being a prime minister. You see? Yeah. Well, I'll be a dictator, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> No, but See? for me, the you know, I'd fear because I have a fear of heights. I would, oh, really? I would like to jump off of a plane oh. Oh. again because I've done it once, oh, but I did not enjoy that. it because I was sleeping all through the day. Oh. <laughs> I, I pass out and oh then by God, the time we got down, I'm like, okay, we're good, we're good. We'll do it we're, together. We're, we'll do it together. I've done it once. No, thank you. Oh, I'm just yeah. saying, if I have no fear, <laughs> that's a question. <laughs> <laughs> How, about you, oh. How about you, Mike? How about you, Mike? Fear, if I had no fear, I'd probably go naked in the beach. I can <laughs> never, I can never go naked in the Why? beach. Are really? Can. Wait, can you go naked in the beach? I it's hard, yeah. I, it's so hard. I, I can't even go naked on the, you know, when, you, the change, naked when you change in the change room. I can't be naked There's against other beach. guys. There's a nude beach, you can go there. Even when I pee, I can't be next to someone. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel weird. I just feel weird. I just want my space. <laughs> My personal I space. Yeah. Like if I'm peeing, someone comes next to me to pee. I'm like, Hi, dude. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to touch base when when you asked Joanne, uh, what's what? There's another term of the fear when you answer regret. What was that answer? Uh, question. Oh, was the, the biggest regret in your life. I think that was that's the one. No. The the it's answer was fear. regret. What is your greatest fear? Yeah. To have regrets. Yeah. Why? Oh. Why? Because I don't want to like have that feeling of. What if? Yeah. You know, I don't like that. Right. It'll eat at you. Yeah, yeah. like you just want to live life to your fullest. You have one chance. You gotta just I, I, go for it. Exactly. But I, I think with, with me, I've never had any regret in life. However, there would be stance instances wherein I just said, what if? It's all the what if. Because yeah. I don't think it's the regret that, that is scary. It's the what if that's scary. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> like, thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the uh, lightning round. That's actually really interesting, eh? Yeah. And thank you so much, uh, Mike, for that beautiful like, questioning. It was very serious. I was like, whoa, this is like deep. And I thought it was like, what's your favorite food? <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward. So again, we would like to thank Joanna Gune for being here with us at Real Talk with MMJ. See you again. Bye.